learning about mornings on the farm. She was just telling me how different farm animals take baths. And some of them seemed kind of silly. We have a cat on the farm. His name is Skittles. Skittles takes a bath by licking his own fur. Yuck! Can you imagine if we got clean by licking ourselves? No way! Our chickens give themselves a dust bath. A dust bath? It's exactly what it sounds like. They cover themselves in dust. That deserves a Cali triple what take! What, what, what? They'd be even more dirty after that. But the strangest ones by far are the pigs. They take a bath. Oh no, I lost Chloe. We must have a bad connection or something. I'm going to try to get her back while we check out today's Bible story. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Luke chapter 24. Two men were traveling together and talking about all that had happened how Jesus was supposed to be the one who came and saved the world, but he had been captured and put to death. Then a stranger showed up and joined the two men. It was Jesus. He asked about what they were talking about, but the men didn't know that it was Jesus. They thought it was weird that this new guy didn't know what had been going on. They filled him in. They told him that three days had passed since Jesus had died and some women had went to his tomb and Jesus' body was gone. Can you imagine? They were telling Jesus about what had happened about Jesus to Jesus. As they did, they weren't happy. They were sad. They'd hoped that Jesus would be there for them. And everyone, all the time, every day, always. But now they thought that he was gone. But he was right there with him. They still didn't know that it was Jesus who they were talking to. But they listened carefully when Jesus started talking to them. Jesus told them everything that had happened was a part of God's plan. And he talked with them more about God's words. Later on, when they sat to eat together, Jesus took bread, prayed over it, and gave it to them. That's when the two men finally saw that they had been talking and walking with Jesus the whole time. They went to find Jesus' friends so they could tell them what had happened and tell them that Jesus is there for me every day. You're back! Sorry, I lost you there for a second. No problem. I'm just glad you're back. It's been so fun to learn about mornings on the farm with you. And you've been there for us every time I called. In our Bible story today, we learned about how Jesus is there for us every day. The guys in the story didn't even recognize him, but he was still right there with them. And we don't have to worry about a bad connection with Jesus. Nope. You were about to tell us how pigs take baths. Oh yeah, you'll never believe it. Pigs take mud baths to stay cool. They get down and roll around in the mud until they're completely covered. I was curious one time if it really made you cool. So I got in the mud and rolled around with them. Guess what? It really works. But I didn't smell too good. And my Aunt Teresa wasn't too happy about having to clean my overalls. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think my mom and dad would be too happy with me if I came home after rolling around in the mud, too. Well, thanks for sharing about mornings on the farm with us, Chloe. No problem. See you next time. I'm glad Chloe's a great friend and is there for me. And I'm even more glad that... Jesus is there for me every day. Ready?